okay we will need to have a terminal for php or json serve uh, json serve and the second one for watch and after this we will need to visit our application so it's a thousand okay we don't have anything here and yeah we will have to go to routes and then to sorry uh, resources then js and then uh, inside it. we have a router.js you will have to visit your home because on simple route we don't have nothing here let's create it also uh, if the path is just this then I'll just leave it for now because you will have to make uh, some kind of template here so leave it here so we have to visit only home and Home and we have these routes okay so uh we have to work on register because we already have made register path and we already have our template set up in the last uh, in the previous tutorial so here if you see we have first name last name in these stuffs so let's compare this with our uh, app and then http controller and then our auth controller we have the register method here and we will need only these things. So let's just remove uh, the extra things from our from our uh, here it is and set views and then authentication and then register. So we have uh, a lot of things here. Like we don't need this last name here. So what uh, we will do instead, we will just copy this one from here and yeah this is fine we'll bring this one in here okay this is fine okay and we will remove this from here and this one will say now the full name okay and let's say be here this is the email address this is fine the id should be now name only and auto focus this thing are okay required we don't need to put required because we will have to do a server uh, side validation this is id and this is to be here also so it will be for this one and this is fine fine email and it will be like you know it's just to get the email only this is the email address this is fine this is the password let's give it a password only and this will be password underscore confirmation yeah and this is confirm password this is fine we need this we need this okay and now uh, we need to give uh, we need to, uh, first we need to make a model here so let's first give it a name and let's say register and we already know where we can see this name for example if you visit your application go to inspect element and if you have this view dev tool and you can get its window here and you click on this you go here you see this is register now so it's mean we give it a name here if you don't give anything it will just uh, i think get this one uh, but for example if i give it register view and then come back and reload yeah you see now it's name so these name are used for their thing so you can easily debug your application with that okay and here we need a data so return and then the user object Sorry. object and 
and your file name empty and the email also empty and then the passwords empty and password confirmation this will be one will be also empty. okay now uh, we have to make we model and this one will be user dot email sorry name and this one will be we model user dot email this one will be v model user dot password this one will be we model user dot Password confirmation, okay. So password underscore confirmation. Let's now reload this. Yeah, these are fine, but why so distant between these two? Let's take a look here. Load. Okay, this now looks correct. Now uh, we are getting the data or not. Let's test this. We just review the user model, and if we enter here, like full name, for example, and here we can get a shark or something like the email address, email.com. And the password will be password and also password. Okay, that's correct. Now, here we will have to give this form an action. But simply we can give it beyond submit. Beyond submit dot event and give it. Register I need to create this method here after the data. And here we go. Uh, this will be uh, our async method so to have an API call here. So uh, we have to a wait and then we will need a service here uh, like a auth service okay so let's come here let's come in this and come here to the services and here we will create a new service like auth service dot js and inside this auth service dot js we will have to import uh, http and also HTTP file. If, for example, we want to take a picture from the user, so we will use HTTP file for the test. Uh, but uh, in our case, we don't need it. But let's set, let's it here, and we have to get it from HTTP sites. Also, uh, let's export a function with name register and it will get the user and we have to make a http request post and let's give it register route because uh, i am sure we have a register route already if we go to our 
uh, routes and then to our not, not web API we will need to have a prepex auth and then register so here we will have to have the auth and then the register this is fine and we will pass the user here okay correct now let's come back here and import that service here import all is auth from back and then again back and services and then our service this is fine and here we have to use this so await auth dot register and we will pass this user uh, from our data so this dot user this is correct Okay, and if we have, for example, some kind of error, so we can use uh, same or try kit. So I can just copy it from our categories because we already have used this multiple times. Yeah, we have to copy this. So if we have error 422, it's mean that it's validation errors. So we have to kill, make uh, another object for our errors. And we have to pass these error if we, we are getting from the server to this one. This is fine. And if not, if some kind of uh, like default, we are passing this one. Okay. This is fine like this. Okay. So let's go here and check we, what we are passing here like 201 and 500. So let's create another one for 500. And with 500, we are passing a message. So here we can alert something like this one, but it will be uh, our message. So our data will contain, uh, we can get this from our l.response.data.message. Okay. This is fine like this. Now let's just test this. Now yeah, everything looks good. Repetition errors and all these. Okay, now let's test this. Let's see. Reload. And once I click like this, uh, uh, we have to go to the network tab, clear this, and once we click on register, oh, this is going to the uh, login.html. It's because we have to change something here, like this one, and it should be a button, not uh, a URL. So here we will need to have a button of type. Submit so it will submit our form and the text should be let's say just respond and yeah we can give this here the same clause these and let's just remove this now if we save this then if you load go back to the test okay and reload clear this click on this so what we are getting here we are going to local host and then api auth register method is post but we are getting a 422 response so that's mean that we have the errors so uh, we are already uh, passing these error i think to our error object if you look here yeah, inside this we have all these here because we are passing these in here okay so now we have to uh, display these errors and we already have done this in our category module so we just 
copy, you can copy one from there. Exactly this one. So let's copy this and paste it here. Okay, and if the error had name, then okay, this is fine. So the same way we will copy this paste here and change the name by email. And the same for passwords. Okay. And the same for the password confirmation. That is fine. Now let's reload this. Okay. Now if we click here, yeah, we are getting the, those messages here. So now, for example, if I enter something like, uh, what should I try? Let's get my script and my get to gmail.com. Also, it is my one to three. My one to three. You click here. Okay, this time. We got the message that the user is successfully created. So let's check it in our database. <coughs> yeah, we got this one. And we already have two uh, users. Alangir and Akram, but uh, this one is my step now. So let's now. Uh, this is working now. Let's. So here we will need to. Okay, answer register. This is fine. Okay, so here we will need to uh, remove our errors. So this dot errors. Empty object again, okay. and you will more user to the login. So we can just simply give it a login, and I hope this will work. Let's come back here, load. Yeah, we are getting error. Let's uh, create another one like user and get it in user three user three register. And yes, this is working. We are now on login. Uh, so here we will need to, to make the login request. So we will do this in the next tutorial.